Okay, it's the day before we leave Beaufort. Katie's plucking her eyes. And uh, I'm emptying our water jugs into our fresh water tank. And I'm gonna take the dinghy to shore a couple times today to refill these jugs uh, and then top off our water tank and then fill them up one last time. And I'm gonna do the same with our diesel. We've been running through a little more diesel than normal because we've been running the heater in the mornings and the afternoons, evenings. So this is kind of a big deal. When I ordered these water jugs here, uh, when we were in Annapolis, I envisioned us not having to pay for a night at a dock at a marina somewhere just to fill up our water tank, which is usually the case. That's the only limiting factor until we can start running our water maker. We don't even know if our membrane from this used water maker is good. So for now, we are tied every couple of weeks to topping off our water tank. And so these jugs for $18 a piece have freed us from paying for a marina when we can find a place to hook a hose up to. One thing I wanna do is I wanna get a pre-filter for our hose so we aren't putting the water straight from the hose into the tanks and then straight from these into our water tank. Even though we have a double filtration system on our- uh, And we bring our own hose. And we bring our own hose, but, um, and I run the water for maybe like 30 seconds or so before I actually put any water into the jug. But I just want a pre-filter at the hose when I'm filling up. So that'll come in the future. Hey everyone, I'm Parker. And I'm Katie. And this is our boat, Sea Wind. I bought Sea Wind in 2016 with my entire savings and no clue what it would take to turn her into what she is today. With the help of my dad and a few friends, I slowly tackled project after project, transforming this old boat into what I envisioned when we first met. Halfway through this five and a half year project, I met Katie and we've been inseparable ever since. In truth, this only shows a fraction of what it really took in order to get to where we're at today in a beautiful anchorage making this video. Together, we have come a long way. We have learned the beautiful and brutal lessons that the water has to offer. We have come to know heartache and loss and to dance despite it all. I work a full-time job on the go, which presents its own unique challenges and opportunities. But at the end of the day, it's our desire to move slowly and live fully that makes it all worth it. Sailing Sea Wind is our unique attempt at showing how we choose to live with a lighter carbon footprint, how we plan to make our mark on this ever-changing world. It's a place for us to show that every one of us is connected and that we will all go further together. It is a bit windy here today in the Anchorage. Our, uh, you can see we've been doing pirouettes around our anchor because of the uh, current changes here. But boy, that anchor bridle's working. Sea wind with a full keel is oftentimes affected more by currents than wind in an anchorage. Full-keeled boats have a huge paddle under the water that wants at all times to align itself with any currents present. Catamaran hulls with their shallow drafts and small wetted surface area tend to stay bow into the wind regardless of what the currents are doing. Modern mono hulls with thin keels lie somewhere in between. When we know that there will be current changes in an anchorage, we try to position ourselves with similarly shaped boats and still, sometimes it is just chaos. Is facing this way, the wind is coming from this way, the current is going this way against the wind, and so we have Willow here who is turned all the way around, this big boat that's turned all the way around, and that big boat, that, or that smaller boat there, he almost just hit that one over there, so he had to put his mainsail up to push himself away from that boat. Now he has his engine on and his running lights, I don't know if he's moving. And then that boat up there is turned the opposite way. We're doing a pirouette right now, we're spinning. I hope we don't get real close to Willow here if we both spin the same direction.
Okay. Well, it is about seven o'clock in the morning. It's 30, 35 degrees outside right now. I just uh, hoisted up the anchor chain and it's just vertical right now. The anchor is still dug. It's just still holding us in place. Thankfully, no mud came up on the anchor. That's good. Or on the anchor chain, I should say. So that's always nice. I look nice and cozy because I have all these layers on, but it is freezing. And we brought gloves, but I can't find where our gloves are. So we don't have any gloves. Anyway, we have the engine running. It's a beautiful morning. Beautiful morning in the Anchorage. The engine, I don't think it really liked <laughs> jumping to life at 35 degrees. I've been using the decompression lever to decompress the cylinders so the starter has something easier to turn through and then it also starts injecting some fuel into the cylinders and then I throw that lever and it seems to like to start up that way when it's cold. There's so much resistance getting up in the morning early to move on to another place when you've been so cozy here in your nice heated little space capsule. There's a seagull. We've had a lot of pelicans in the anchorage here, fishing and dolphins coming into the anchorage and also fishing and playing. It's been really wonderful. So we are going to head to Mile Hammock Bay. Uh, it's about 36 miles down the ICW today. Looking out my panoramic windows, making sure nothing's coming or that we aren't going to hit anything. Watching my navigation here. Watching the depth.
like zigzaggy. It just went out that way. Oh yeah. Oh it's still recording. It was oh. going like this part of Oh, no way. Oh, they're back there again. Yeah. Wow. That was the best yeah, one that ever. Was the best one ever. Oh. We almost ran aground. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. No. Okay, we just had a beautiful sailboat just pass us. Not sure what it is. And we are in Camp Lejeune territory now. Here's the sign. This is a live firing range and uh, active military drill range when flashing. Um, and I checked their website today. It, uh, there is nothing going on today. Tomorrow, however, there is some live firing going on and uh, the schedule is posted. All right, well, we have arrived in our anchorage. It's Mile Hammock Bay. Um, it was about 38 miles today. It did really well. Katie's in the shower right now because we're taking advantage of our hot water. Uh, not yet. <laughs> she's actually shaving her legs. And so she's still wearing her wool shirt while she shaves her legs because she doesn't want to be completely naked yet because it's so cold. But we have the heater going and it's starting to take the chill off and it'll eventually get nice and toasty in here. This anchorage is beautiful. We're gonna do about 40 miles tomorrow. Um, and hashtag heading south. Uh, she's drying off by the fire. She's clean though. She shaved. <laughs> oh, she has an evening sun on her face. Take a picture too. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we are showered shaved. and shaved. Hair washed. Hair washed. Like really showered. Like really showered, yeah, yeah. Really good shower. <laughs> Heater's pumping. Beautiful anchorage. Dinner's Dinner's cooking. cooking. Almost. Music's gonna be playing. It's always these little one night stopovers when we're getting to another destination that are just the most magical. Or maybe that's just the luck of them so far, but every one of these little stops has just been beautiful. So anyway, we are thankful. Okay, back down into our cocoon. It's cold out here. <laughs> out. Caught ya. Okay.
we're coming up on the figure eight island bridge. So over here is the figure eight island. I'm guessing from the sky, it looks like a figure eight. And this is a, an on-demand bridge. It operates on the half an hour. So this is a, a swing bridge. So it's kind of cool. It pivots on a big uh, central gear right in the center. And you can see the, the guy operating it from the deck up there. containers because we live like hamsters <laughs> wasn't my most graceful one, but it'll do. Okay, so we are going to anchor over here. So it looks like, Katie, uh, that power boat is in the anchorage. So let's like slow down to our minimum speed. And does it look like we can go behind him or should we just go next to him? What's the, what does it look like over there? What's the depth? What's 24 feet here still? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just creep our way over here. So over there. Okay, we'll just go up like adjacent to him then maybe like, can we go just behind him you think? Yeah. All right, that works. Oh, I see, I see. Can you put it in reverse? Okay. What's our speed? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here's our anchors for the night. Status update. We are going down the Cape Fear River here. We timed it marvelously with the current. We have the jib out. It's gusting in the low 20s, like I think I saw 22 and a half once. 
here and do it. Seven and a half to like eight point three knots with no engine. It's glorious. It is freezing, but it's glorious. Oh, I'm blocking the sun for her. Yeah, there's the paw warmers. <laughs> about 40 feet deep in the channel. Oh, there's another boat coming up, I see. We'll have to dodge him. So here's the jib. We're pretty much completely dead downwind, but with no mainsail in the way, you don't really have to worry too much about the jib. It just kind of does what it does, no slapping or anything like that. So. Looking good! <laughs> Coming up on the South Carolina border here. Alrighty. Heading to an anchorage right here. 